Hey guys, Project Reaps here, bringing you another task force operation. Unfortunately, on this attack, I was also disconnected before I was able to finish my attack. I did have a pretty interesting strategy planned here. But uh, unfortunately, we won't see it fully come to fruition. So what I'm doing here is sort of a pincer attack. You can't tell right now, but I actually do have one more boat which has Zookas on it. And the plan is once these are all dead to send the Zookas up the side here and then to kind of converge my army back together. So I think I just disconnect any time now. Oh no, it I dropped this flare and that's when I disconnected. So it looks like the the game actually kept going, but my units didn't quite split up the way I needed them to, unfortunately. Jump right into the next attack. Tank medic and a flank in on the right. These boom cannons, they're actually kind of far away. He might not have to do anything special. I think he's just going to sit right here and just unload on this thing. And this is a really good idea. As we learned a couple operations ago, this shield has so much health. It's crazy how much health this shield has. So he made sure to help take that out so that he could actually finish the core's total health off. Which it looks like he definitely will do in the time allotment. Nicely done, T-Chan. Okay, and then we'll jump right into the next attack. We got a rifle Zooka attack. Woo, I'm kind of surprised to see Bigfoot use rifle Zooka with all these mines. Uh on top of splash damage like rocket launchers, mortars being a problem. These mines are all a problem. I imagine he's going to have to whoops, flank way up the side here. Yeah. So let's speed this up real quick since it looks like it's going to be a lot of running. That was a good critter use to get the rocket off the target, uh, off, off his main army composition. Same right here, great critter usage to keep them off the main army composition. Totally flanking these these mortars so that they're not a problem. And oh yeah, he's got this on lock. Beautiful attack, Bigfoot. Alright, looks like Frankie's going to try and clean this up. Now... I have got to be honest with anyone watching, I have no idea why he decided to use tanks when there are this many boom cannons. It just doesn't seem like a great idea to me. Uh, rifle Medic just up the left and he would have had no trouble. He wouldn't have been in range of any of this stuff. He would have had way more damage in his army composition. Um, that's just, that is just too many boom cannons. You just don't want to take rocket Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that is brutal. They're not even firing. Oh, they actually are getting one shot off. You can kind of see it. I know it's moving kind of fast, but there are some little bullets shooting out of these. He is going to get the shield down almost, but that was unfortunate those those shock launchers are mean so we got a hookah here heavy zooka lots of mortars so those heavies are a great pick uh, they they keep their distance and have a lot of health so they can absorb those mortars. Yeah, 
you need to shock this or something. Nicely done. He should have it on the in the bag now. He's got enough. Zuka's alive to focus this down, and enough heavies to distract these mortars. So it should be easy doings now. Why? Why would you do that? You had it. What are you doing, Elvis? I'm assuming that was a misclick. He did not mean to do that. He just it's a touch screen. He was selected on flare, and he accidentally touched the screen over there probably panicked about as much as I did when it happened. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram under the name Project Reaper. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to throw them in the comments and I would be happy to respond. Um yeah, thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.